Hello and welcome to this version of removing Easy Populate from your web server. Uh, Easy Populate 1.2.5.4 is the version that I did in my tutorial of using tab-based Easy Populate on your Zen card. Now you might want to upgrade it or uh, do whatever, go to the CSV. I really see no reason not to use the CSV. Something I read was about the 1.2.5.4 uh, indicated it was a uh, more stable type situation, but I've used 1.2.5.7 enough that I'm pretty happy with the CSV version as well. So what I'm going to do now is I've got Easy Populate 1254, and I've set that up on a server that's a testing server. Uh, I would recommend before you do anything like this, uh, what you'd want to do is back up everything. And I've gone to a page that tells me how to remove this and it just basically says you run this command in here langer equals remove at the end of your easy PHP easy populate PHP that is so I'm just gonna cut and paste this and I'm gonna go over here to my Zen cart where I'm in easy populate PHP I'm gonna go to the end of that line and paste and then uh, uh, let's see I need a question mark in here I believe just to be safe. Yep, that's it. So when I click on this, it's going to give me a easy populate configuration missing. Please install your configuration by clicking here. So therefore, I know that I have gotten rid of my easy populate. Uh, if I click there, it'll just rebuild the configuration. So instead of wasting a lot of time on that, I'm going to go back over here to my uh, FTP client. And I've already FTP'd to the server. I'm in public HTML cart, which is where my cart is located. It's not in the base directory. If it was the base directory, then that would be that. Now, just for reference, on this side, I've got EPV1254. And the only reason I've got this over here is because it's going to refer to the files that I need to delete on this side over here. So, to start out, uh, I know that this install text and this install SQL are a part of this. So I'm just going to go ahead and select these out and delete them. Let's delete that one. Yes. And we'll delete the install SQL. Yes. All right. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go into our temp folder. So temp is built by uh, Easy Populate PHP, and there is no real temp folder in your system, so you can just pretty much delete all of that. Now, do this after you have pulled uh, your export, your backup, etc. Always do backups, do plenty of them, and that way you're not going to find yourself uh, in trouble, you know, where you can't recover. Okay, so from there we go on, we've got all of these spare files out, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the admin portion of the cart, and uh, I've actually pulled out of my cart here, so let me go back into that, and I'm using version 1.39 of, uh, of that, so you have to rename the admin folder, which I've done. So now we see that there's one loose file here, which is easy populate. So we just come down here and find it and delete that. So that's gone. All right. Now we need to go up into our includes in our admin folder. So we'll open the includes. And we open the includes on this side just for reference. Okay. Now where it says boxes, we'll just dig into boxes. And this says boxes here, so we're going down into extra boxes. And we go down into extra boxes here, and we can see that there's one file we need to remove, and that's easy populate. So we delete that file. Okay. And then we go back up our tree. And now we go into extra data files. So we go back up our tree on this side and find extra data files. There we go. And I can see Easy Populate right here, so I'm going to delete that. All right, and that's gone from there. 
So now we go back up here and we go to functions and extra functions. So we climb back up the tree on this side, go to functions, go to extra functions, and we take out that easy populate function and we delete that. Okay. So back over here. And all we have left is languages. So we go to languages, English. All right. And I'm going to climb up the tree on this side here. And let's see. Let's look for languages. There's languages. And uh, let's see. English. Yeah. And down here we're going to find another easy populate that's outside of the main folder here. Easy populate. PHP. And we're going to delete that. Will I delete one file? Yes. I really want to delete that file. We climb back up the tree here. Sorry, this is a new laptop and I'm not real keen on getting all of the uh, keystrokes down as quickly because I'm just I'm not using an external mouse. So and then we've got that one last one which is an easy populate right there and that should have gotten rid of everything. So we we've, we've covered every file on the left and we've deleted every file that was like that on the right. So now when we close down our FTP and go back here and we hit uh, tools let's Actually, let's go to Admin Home. Now, when we look under Tools, there should be no Easy Populate. And there it is. It's gone. There is no Easy Populate in here. So now you're ready to go ahead and put in your later version of 1.257, uh, 1.2.5.7, or whatever you want to do. And that's how you remove uh, Easy Populate so that you can upgrade or do whatever you want to next. Thank you very much. I hope this is helpful. I'm going to do a install of 1.2.5.7 and I'll have that video up shortly. And uh, if you're watching this video, then it was successful. If you don't see this video, well, I'm not even going to go there. But anyway, uh, that's that. And thank you. If, if it's helped you, please give me a thumbs up, like, rate, subscribe, share it with your friends. Thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed it.